We're going to upgrade a Cisco ASA 5506X from 9.5 to 9.82. And sometimes this is necessary to do by command line because you can't get into the ASDM because of some problem or some bug. So as you can see here, we have in our TFTP root, we have some files that we're going to be uploading. Not all of these files. We're actually just going to be doing the ASDM file here and the ASA file here. So let's go ahead and minimize that. And we can see we have SolarWinds TFTP, TFTP server up. And if you are not familiar with that, I've got another video on how to install and configure that. But you can get that from SolarWinds.com for free. All right, so we have our ASA running, and I'm telnetted into it. And so now we're going to put in a command that will do the upgrade to this new version. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in copy TFTP colon disk zero colon. So what that's going to do is it's going to copy a file from our TFTP server, which is our local computer, and it's going to upload it to disk zero, which is the storage on the ASA. Let's go ahead and hit enter. So now it's asking for the IP address of the TFTP server. And I've already uh, used this once before, so it remembered that it's 16.50. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And now it's asking for the source name. And in this case, the source name, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. There it is. And it wants to know if I want to keep the destination file name the same. And the answer is yes. And now it's accessing. So you can see on the right-hand side, it's accessing the TFTP server. And we're going to see it downloading that file. On the left-hand side, in the Telnet session, you can see the exclamation points, which are showing that it's actually successfully downloading the file. Now, this could take several minutes. So uh, just go ahead and let that finish. And then we'll go on to the next piece. We can see now that our image is copied successfully, so we can go to the next step. And that's going to be to tell it to boot off of this new file. So let's go ahead and copy this command, and I'll paste it in for you so you can see it. And it's boot system disk zero, which is where we copied the file, and the same name of the file that we copied up. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell it to use this particular file to boot from. I've already typed this command once, so we're going to get an error here, but if it's the first time you've typed it, you won't see that error. Now we're going to copy the file using TFTP once again for the ASDM, which will allow us to get into the graphical user interface. So let's once again do the copy command, copy TFTP colon disk zero colon. And once again, it's going to say, hey, what's the name or IP address of the host? It's going to be the same. And now it's asking for the source name. So let's go ahead and paste that in. And it's this ASDM file. We're going to keep it the same. And now you can see on the right-hand side, our SolarWinds TFTP server is cooking along. And the file is being uploaded. And now we can see that it's done. So let's go ahead and set the ASDM image, which is a different command. And there it is. It's uh, ASDM image disk zero and then the name of the file dot BIN. And now it's been set. Now we're going to write that to memory. And then once it's all done, we can go ahead and reload. And when we reboot, it will come up with the new ASDM image as well as the new ASA image.